qua một qua một thôi Uh, first is the background. We are PhD students from the Institute of Science and Technology for Brain Inspired Intelligence from U Fudan University, supervised by Professor Shen Feng Zhu. Our research interests mainly focus on bioinformatics and biomedical text mining. Um, prior to CAFA 5, we, our uh, lab also participated in CAFA 3 and CAFA 4, which was very helpful for improving the predictive performance of our comp this competition. Our model for this competition is also based on our previous uh, work. Next, I will introduce some of these works, and I believe it will help you better understand our uh, competition. Uh, if you are interested, you can find more details in these papers. First is the GeoLabeler. GeoLabeler is our first work on protein function prediction. GeoLabeler obtains effective features from protein sequences in different ways and trains various small models based on annotated data. Using these simple component methods, such as the baseline methods, naive and blast came from Kappa as well as the sequence features based on camera and interpro and uh, profile features. Geo labels obtains initially pre initial predictions. These predictions are then integrated together using a ranking model to complete the final prediction. Specifically, in the integration process, we treat the protein as a query and the each geo terms as a document to be achieved. We consider the prediction results from the component methods as protein features and the link completing the training of our learning to rank model. We applied this method in CAFA 3 and achieved outstanding performance, obtaining the highest Fmax in molecular function and BP and CC. Based on the fact that the geo label only utilized the sequence information and lack the use of other information. We further developed the NetGo series tools based on GeoLabel to enhance the accuracy of protein function prediction. NetGo innovati innovatively incorporates protein-protein interaction network from stream. NetKN collects neighbor information from network to achieve protein function prediction. Experimental results have shown that the NetCare methods is important for BP and CC prediction. Following that, we further introduced the LR text method based on literature and the sequence RN method based on sequences on the basis of NetGo. LR text utilizes TF-IDF and D2V to encode protein-related scientific literature uncovering information related to protein function in the literature. Sequence are used by RCM to encode protein sequences and utilize deep learning to explore the relationship between protein sequences and the function. NetGo2 participated in the CAFA4 competition. According to the organizers, NetGo2 from our lab again achieved the outstanding performance, obtaining the highest Fmax in Fmax MF, BP, and CC. Uh, it's worth mentioning that in CC, our method outperformed the second, pl second place method by 5%, which strongly confirms the effectiveness of literature information. Uh, recently, it's impressive to see the evolution of protein language models, the replacement of the sequence RNA method in NetGo2, NetGo and the ES with the ESN1B based methods has proven to be highly effective in predicting protein function, suppressing some previous methods. Integrating LSTM into NetGo2 has resulted in the latest sort of methods, NetGo3. Uh, next is the summary section. In this competition, our method our method was mainly developed on the basis of NetGo3 and the integration was finally completed through a ranking model. In practice, 
we have listed the time it takes to train the component methods. And you can see that some component methods are still time consuming, such as the geo retrieval takes one day to complete. Uh, in the final prediction stage, our method only took takes two hours to complete. It can see it can see that our method is still relatively efficient in the final inference stage. Of course, in order to achieve some better predictions, we have also designed several new component methods. Highly, uh, the, right, the red method here are the latest designed uh, methods. Among these new methods, geo XML and the geo retrieval and uh, LREM are based on textual information. And the 46 KN is based on the protein structural information. Specifically, geo XML is uh, leverages information from protein related scientific literature to enable large scale multi label classification. classification. <laughs> Different from the previous method, the SOTA method in extreme large-scale multi-label classification, attention XML is used here, which can help us find the protein-related functions from the literature. Geo retrieval is a new two-stage deep learning method. It takes into account both protein description, text, and scientific literature information and looks for geoterms related in the literature information. ARMEM combines the three types of information by collecting the relationships between the protein, literature, and functions in geo and GeoA databases to jointly, jointly discover the links between proteins and functions. For the CKN is based on the similarity between the structures of the proteins from for the sick and completes the functional prediction based on proteins with similar structure. When integrating these new component approaches, we also took in, in account the species information of the proteins. At the time of integration, each protein is characterized not only by a predictor scores from the component methods, but also by a 21-dimensional vector to encode the species information. Specifically, this is a 21-dimensional one-hole encoding vector, where the first 20 positions represent the 20 most frequent species in training data, and the remaining one represents the, uh, the other species. Eventually, the feature vector of each protein consists of this prediction score of the component methods and the taxonomic vector. Uh, this figure shows the scores of um, our method in the, and the final model on public leaderboard. As you can see, the text-based uh, methods on the right performed well in this competition, achieving significantly higher scores than the other method. We believe that's why your curator is, all, is so, so successful. Now let's take a look at some of the best components methods in geo curator and see which one worked well. In the course of the competition, we found that the methods utilizing protein language model and the methods based on biomedical text mining usually yield good uh, results. For example, yes one b yes m2, and yes and prod T5 all demonstrate demonstrated good ability in predicting protein function. Using text mining methods, we mainly find out that the implicit connection between protein and functions from the description text from Uniprot and the geo definitions text and also protein related scientific literature. Uh, for protein language model, the corresponding dense vectors are available given the protein sixes. With the help of functional annotation data, we can then predict the corresponding geoterms for every protein. During competition, we tried three models, ESM1B, ESM2, and uh, PROT T5, and also considered concatenating their representations for prediction. 
Based on the performance of these methods on public uh, leaderboard, we found that yes, one B is a better choice compared to the remaining two language models. We also noticed that uh, concatenating the representations of these three models can result in a better prediction performance at the time of integration. Given the complexity of the models, we still only consider predictions from ES and 1B. Next, we will describe each of the literature tax mining based methods in detail. The first one is GeoXML, similar to deep test to go methods, which applies uh, literature to protein protein functions. Before GeoXML tries to find uh, functional related information from protein related scientific literature. Specifically, based on the relevant literature information of proteins in Uniprot, we first uh, encode these texts by Barbert and then utilize a tension XML model to complete a large-scale multi-label classification. Finally, we unify the functional information of proteins under each literature by consensus methods to complete the functional prediction of target proteins. A second is LMEM. On the other hand, it considers the sequences, description, and uh, related literature information of the protein at the same time. We noticed that some entries in the GEO and the GOA databases recorded the functional information of some proteins on the specific literature, which help us to find the more precise functional information from the literature. As shown in this figure, we encoded the protein sequences and the this protein description and the annotated literature separately by specific tools. Uh, specifically, we use vector to encode literature, PubMed BERT to encode description text, and ES1B to encode amino acid sequences, and combine the encoded representation to finalize the prediction of fu function. George retrieval, on the other hand, is uh, taking take into account the textual information of proteins and then considers the definition text of geoterms. The textual information of each protein is regarded as a query, and the text of geoterms is regarded as a document to find out the most relevant functional information to the protein by information retrieval methods. Specifically, we initially searched for possible geo candidate sets through the protein descriptions. Further, we utilize the documented information of proteins and the definition text of geos to achieve fine sorting, ranking the relevant functions at the top and eliminating the irrelevant uh, ones, thus completing the functional annotation proteins. To summarize, each of these text mining methods utilize different types of information. And uh, compared to the most uh, basic text method, the uh, LR text, there is a significant uh, improvement in accuracy. Regarding training method, we mainly introduce the following points. When training the model, we collect uh, annotation data from three databases, three plot, GO, A, and GO. When dividing the data sets, we consider two ways of division. The first one is the split based on time, according to CFA. And the second one is the sampling methods based on species distribu distribution. Specifically, we sample the data from data sets uh, based on the proportion of each species in the test sets to obtain a validation with uh, 1,000 proteins. We found that the method of applying species distribution sampling can get high scores on public leaderboard. In the course of the competition, except for tax money and the taxonomic vector, we also noticed an interesting and important phenomenon. How to integrate NetKN into final model is important. Uh, NetKN is a protein in prediction found model that looks for neighbor proteins for target. 
in the PPI network and predicts the function based on the neighborhood proteins. However, we have found that some the network information of some species may not be very reliable. And uh, at the same time, some species may like may not have network information at all, which creates a very interesting phenomena. Integrating NetKin into the model may not be good as uh, not having NetKin at all. As scores that include NetKin are lower than scores that don't. Considering the property of PPI network, we believe that KN that KN may only be suitable for predicting proteins from well-studied species. At the time of integration, proteins of the most uh, frequent 15 and 14 species were considered respectively, with uh, the, fifth, the top 15 species being considered for optimal performance. Uh, in fact, introducing species coding into NetGo3 would get, give you a good score. That is, instead of the various new components we have mentioned before, only a 21-dimensional taxonomic vector is introduced at the time of integration. We later submitted the NetGo3 predictions, and uh, we end up with a score uh, of 0. 0 0.5 on the private public on the private leaderboard. Overall, NetGo is a very powerful model that can integrate multiple types of information and methods. That's it. That is why GeoCreator works so well. Here we have listed some databases and tools that collects the, and process various information and which I believe will be helpful you will be helpful for you. Okay, that's all for today's report and welcome your questions.